Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be showcasing the new and improved GT Heroes team featuring the Fizz LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta slash Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, just to be clear, this is not my rainbowed Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. This actually belongs to my boy Wesley Wu, so a big shout out to him for uh, just being a massive whale, I guess, and rainbowing his Gogeta and allowing me to use it for this showcase. Now, here's a quick look at the team. We got the double Goku and Vegeta's. Mine is only at 69%. The friend is obviously rainbowed. And then we have the STR, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Int, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Fizz Goku, uh, the GT1, of course, and then two supports in the uh, AGL, Trunks, and Goten, and the Tech, Gohan, and Goten. So on this first rotation, we have the uh, Super Saiyan 4s along with Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the support from the Trunks and Goten, starting with 176,000 defense, which is... Um, not bad. It's not bad for turn one, but obviously we want to build that as much as possible. And I guess we'll kick things off with a nice 12k super. It's not going to be as impressive um, damage wise, but it's going to allow us to, you know, start building, start stacking their attack and defense. So here we go. Let's see what a turn one 12k super from a 69% Goku and Vegeta looks like so we're getting just over four mil yeah so like i said man nothing crazy nothing crazy but we're just starting so be patient um i was hoping for an additional super there i did give them some skill orbs so they had a decent chance but didn't quite get that and of course you guys know str super saiyan 4 goku is an absolute monster so he's gonna do his thing and on this turn, we have the Rainbowed Friend here, I think. Um, he might link better with the GT Goku. No, Gogeta's better. Okay, so we're going to do the Int Gogeta in the rotation. That's going to be an 18 key super, or rather a 24 key super for the LR. And then just give a few orbs to these guys. Uh, let's give a good amount to the GT Goku. That's going to be 7 right there. And here is the friend, shout out to Wesley once again, 5.8, 5.8. Now keep in mind, no support this time, so the drop off is, you know, to be expected. Or actually, it's not really a drop off, I guess. It's just maybe not as high as some people were hoping for, but they will build up very quickly with these 12 key supers. And no guaranteed, or no non-guaranteed additional once again. Obviously the second super was guaranteed. If you get 20 key or more, then they get that additional super, but no third super, which is a little bit disappointing. Okay, so this time, let's try to give these guys, there we go, 24 key super. And defense is up to 240,000. This is after one... 12 key super so as i said they build up very very quickly and here is a super attack this might hurt a bit we might take some damage yeah okay okay i'm not surprised there but a massive massive increase in their damage from four what was it 4.2 last turn to now 7.6 and then the additional normal or not normal, the additional 12 key super is close to 5 mil. If we get one more, didn't quite get that. And then we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku getting 8.4. And uh, that's that. <laughs> that. That is that. Yo, this team is absolutely disgusting, guys. It is absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm kind of tempted to pop the active skill right here, but I think what I'm going to do is actually... Uh, build up a little bit more, okay, because um, once we transform into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, we won't be able to stack the attack and defense, so I think I want a few more 12 key supers. This might also hurt. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's not as bad as like some other units would have taken, right? It's not like crazy damage, but we're still taking uh, quite a bit at the moment. 
So these 12 key supers will actually help a lot. Now, you might have noticed that we're not getting any crazy attack stats with the rainbowed uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. And the main reason for that is because we're missing the Saiyan Roar Link. Uh, the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does not have Saiyan Roar as a Link, which is a 25% attack buff that the STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku provides to the other LR. So that is a big reason why we're not maybe hitting as hard as, uh, you know, as, as the, the unit should be hitting, you know, as a rainbowed LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. In fact, it might have made more sense to actually put the friend on this rotation and then my LR on the other rotation. But at this point, it's just too much work, so we're not going to do that. But um, maybe I should have thought about that. It's kind of weird how this guy... I feel like he should have Saiyan Roar. I don't know. Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Anyways, uh, we're not going to pop the active skill yet. We're going to save that. We're going to save that. Let's get another 24 key super plus hopefully an additional. But chances are, I think we're going to kill Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So we're most likely not going to be able to get that additional super here. Yeah, 7.1. Okay. No supports. Keep in mind. And can we leave him alive, maybe? No, he's dead. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, so now we are on the Golden Great Ape, and he is really scary. He hits very, very hard. So just to be safe, I'm going to pop a Princess Snake so that we don't uh, die to a super, which is most likely what would happen if he supered basically anybody on this rotation. And we're up to almost 300,000 defense. That's really good. So what I think I'm going to do is... You know what? I think... Yeah, you know what? I was going to leave this guy. I, I think I'm going to put them in the middle because the type disadvantage is, uh, you know, is a little scary. So uh, I'm going to give just one orb to the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That's going to be a 24k super for the LR. And uh, something you might have noticed as well, actually this is something that has been a trend with basically every Anniversary LR. They get their 24 key supers very, very easily. Like the Anniversary LRs in general since the third anniversary basically have uh, always had a really easy time getting key, right? Getting their full 24 key super or at least 18 key supers. And this unit is no different. They get a ton of key from getting type orbs. So, um should basically have no issue getting the 20 key you need for the additional guaranteed super as well as the 24 key for the guaranteed um what was it oh attacks effective attacks effective against all one weird thing i've noticed that's kind of annoying is that we just don't get the triple supers and it sucks because when i was playing by myself when i was like doing my own runs off camera i was getting triple supers all the time and now that we're doing the showcase. I cannot get a triple super to save my life, man. Okay, um, I think this might be a good time to pop the uh active skill. Maybe, maybe, or should, should we wait one more turn, possibly? Um, I'm trying to think because I don't want to die here if we take a super in the first slot. Although we just got super, so the chances of uh, chances of us getting another super or taking another, another super, it's it's pretty low, right? So I'm going to go for the 12 key. Let's at least build one more stack of attack and defense. And uh, then we can move on to the next state. Ooh, 53 damage. That is... Wow. Okay, so I clearly underestimated their tanking capabilities. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, so this should do it. If it's a crit, especially. There we go. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, man. I mean, what else is there to say about him? There's nothing you can really say. He's he's insane. Um. Ooh, okay. So GT Goku is really going to shine here, but I'm still going to float him because we're not here to showcase him. I will pop the active skill for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So you guys enjoy the animation. Here we go. And this time I did remember to not skip or turn off the skip function. <sighs> T 
dude, it's so glorious. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is officially here. And now we're gonna pop... Actually, we're not gonna pop anything. I'm gonna save the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta active skill for a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get a full 24k super for the Fizz Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Double Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta rotation right here. And I don't have to worry about popping any items because I know that he can take anything that the Super Saiyan 4 Goku can throw at him. So we're good defensively. And uh, there is the additional super. Perfect. Can we get one more? Let me see three supers. Yo, I think arguably the 12 key super is actually better than the... Uh, than the 18 key super. I mean, they're both amazing. It's kind of hard to really decide. But yeah, I, I think I might like the 12 key better. Wait, how many orbs did I give the Fizz Goku? Because obviously we want to give him a lot. But I think I wasn't paying attention and I might have only given him a. Oh, okay, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We probably at least gave him like four or five then because I was gonna say usually I try to conserve my orbs right so I only give units like as much as they need for the super um, but in this case I think I did still give him a decent amount so we're good okay now we're at the tech full power Super Saiyan 4 obviously the time has come to pop the active skill as well for my Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta so we're gonna watch it one more time even though you just saw it you can never have enough of this animation, right? So, enjoy again. <laughs> and hopefully we can actually get the um, active skill off for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as well. I'm gonna try my best, guys. I'm gonna try my best. So that's gonna be a... I guess 18 key or 23 key super didn't quite get the full 24 not a huge difference it's okay actually does he get the buff on 24 key or no uh no it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so we're just missing a little bit of attack but it's all good and i'm trying to see if i should maybe use an item because i didn't realize how many attacks there were in the second slot and it does consider me a little bit so just to be safe i'm gonna pop the android 8 for super saiyan 4 goku and now we should be okay. Now we should be good to go, okay. So just a few orbs for these guys, doesn't matter for them. And let me see, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's attack. <laughs> Over nine mil, guys. And this is with attacks effective against all too. Right, this is with attacks effective. We're looking at over nine, over six here, 6.5 to be exact. And uh, if we get one more, then that would be great. Yeah, we got one more, 6.9, 6.9, close to seven. So if you add them up, we're looking at nine, 6.5, and then let's just, let's just say seven for the last one. So that was like a lot of, a, a lot of damage, a lot of damage. I don't even wanna, I don't wanna do the math right now. You know what, I don't really care. The point is, it's a lot of freaking damage, <laughs> and this team is just disgusting, man. This this team is just, um, I mean, I know I know I, I I say this a lot, or at least this this term is like put out there a lot, but it's broken. It's a busted team. It's unfair, really. Um, yeah, easily one of my favorite teams in the game right now, no question, and. It's only gonna get better, man. That's the crazy thing. It's only gonna get better when the Super Saiyan 4 LRs, right? The uh, fourth anniversary ones, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, get their Extreme Z Awakenings later on in the celebration. It's only gonna get better. Okay, so now we have a chance to get double Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta uh, active skills. I will pop this one first. To get the buff now there's a chance that we actually don't even get to see this super saiyan 4 gogeta attack if the other super saiyan 4 gogeta finishes off 
Goku. Which I think there's a decent chance that happens. So let's see. Here we go. It'd be a great way to actually end off the video. So I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. If you want to go for it, then do your thing, man. Do your damn thing. He did say I'll finish you off, so I think he's going to finish it off. I think it's over. Oh no, okay, wow, that that actually is surprising. You know what, we're still going to let him finish it off. <laughs> we're still going to let him finish it off, not the end Super Saiyan 4, because once again, you guys have seen plenty from end Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We're here to highlight the his LR. Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta slash Gogeta. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. That is the new and improved GT Heroes team. Um, I was being extra cautious, but realistically, did we need to use items? Probably not. If I had actually placed my characters better, I, I did make a few mistakes in like putting you know certain guys in front of more attacks than I had to. But for the most part, I mean. That, that could have been easily a no item run, right? And, and this team is just, it, it's nasty, man. It, it's a nasty, nasty team. It's um, easily one of the best teams in the game right now. And once again, once we get those LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta EZAs, uh, it should be the best team in the game. It really should be. And hopefully you guys at least have a you know, idea of why I was so high on these LRs before they were released, why I made a video, like a 30 minute video, <laughs> going over exactly why you guys had to summon, had to summon for these guys. I mean, they're just next level, man. They're they're just like in their own tier of, of brokenness. So uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. That is gonna be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And yeah, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs>